Hi guys, another Sky and Mod review here. And today I have a mod called Sky Dye, which is a dynamic hair growth system for Skyrim. So your beard will dynamically grow over time, as will your hair. And the mod also gives you utensils for trimming your beard and also cutting your hair, along with a couple of dyes for dyeing it various different colours and styles. So first off, I'm going to have a quick look at the new dynamic system and see how that works. So now using this version of the wait menu, I'm going to wait 7 days um, from hair being at effectively zero and see what the changes are after 7 days. Wow, so that that is a serious amount of hair growth for seven days. But I guess waiting in the wait menu and sleeping and stuff isn't the same as the open world time scale, I believe. I believe if you fast travel and things like that, the time scale moves slightly different. Um, but then again, I like to do the whole sleeping immersive thing and traveling by carts rather than fast travel. So this it's a, it's a bit fast, but... I mean, the mod's still a work in progress, so if things could look like that could be smoothed out, or maybe an MCM menu for changing the speed of growth, which would be quite cool. But that looks seriously cool to have your hair change from pretty much bald or very short on top to having a full head of hair and a massive shaggy beard. That is pretty cool. So what I've gone and done now is I've added a couple of razors and some trimming scissors. Uh, I did that using the console, I haven't bought these from any vendors or anything. Um, and basically what I'm going to do now is see how these work. As you can see they now currently appear in the potions section. Um, I think that's a more, because the section is easier for usables rather than over in the misc section at the end. Um, so let's have a go first with the razor. And as you see in the background, my beard is gone. Gives a wipe of his face and the beard is completely gone. So that's quite cool. Um, it'd be nice, I think I read the mother author is looking at trying to improve the way that does that and hopefully we'll get a variable amount of shaving so that it can trim and style the beard as it were, which would be quite cool. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look at the scissors. I favoured them so they will appear here. And cool, my hair's gone. Well, that's pretty simple. That was pretty easy. That's pretty cool, so I'm ready for another massive seven days of hair growing now. Which would be cool. Which I'm guessing I'm going to have to do to try out the dyes. Ha! Uh, foresight would have been good there. Uh, so let's grow my hair again. So I've gone and grown my hair back. I found a nice secluded area where hopefully I won't be bothered by stray walking NPCs. And I've gone and added a couple of dyes via the console menu and favorited them so I can try them out. So I'm going to start with uh, Auburn Hair. Whoa, that is very, very Scottish and orange. It looks like it's been freaking tangoed. Well, that's cool. Very easy to use. Again, these are added to the potions menu. Um, so black, cool, blonde. Whoa, yeah. Seriously nice dyed blonde. Brown. Fiery. Whoa, that is red. Uh, floral. Okay, so it's like a, a brighter blonde. What oh, else so we got? Metallic. Cool. Oh, that looks pretty cool, that actually. Uh, very Nordic. Uh, what else we got? I'm sure there was like, something like rainbow. Ah, oh, there we go. Winter dye and rainbow dye. Let's try winter first. Cool. Uh, rainbow dye. Ooh, very nice. So, I assume that with this, uh, once you've dyed your hair a certain colour, 
the only way to remove it is to either trim all the hair off or um, add a previous dye that is the colour of your hair, so for me it would be black. And there you go. My hair has been successfully dyed to black again. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to apply a nice fiery dye. Very nice. Cool. So that is Sky Dye. And if you like the look of the mod, go check it out on the mod authors page, which we the link will be posted to below. Um, there are a couple of changes that are going to be upcoming with future updates, and those include things like adding it to more beast races, um, adding it to females as well, and also changing the way in which the hair grows over time to make it look more natural. And I believe the mod author is also looking at adding compatibility, if he can, um, to the beard mod, which would be quite nice. So, once again, if you like this video, click the like button, it means a lot. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.